Hey guys, it's Jack Ballou. Thanks for tuning in. This is a video in solidarity with you all. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm a huge advocate of cantering and in some cases getting up off the horse's back and just going forward, not worrying too much about their posture. Um, you can check my other blog posts on my website at jackballou.com to get the why of why cantering is so good for your horse, but just real quick, it really loosens the spine. By nature of both hind legs swinging forward simultaneously, you get a lot of flexion in the lumbar sacral junction. And that swing that comes through the horse's spine, those ripples of energy are so good for, especially a big chunky horse like this, loosening his scapula. And so then you're able to create better movement in the other gates. And many of us, I mean, this guy is a perfect example. He's, my, my friend Arlington here is super chunky and dense and, his canter can be a little bit of a bummer to ride. It can feel a little bit like a washing machine some days, right? It's not the most like elegant drink a cup of tea while you're riding sort of experience. And it can be easy to avoid it, thinking I'll get to that down the road when it's a little bit better. But the thing is, it's not gonna get better unless he gets comfortable and you get comfortable working on it. Especially for us dressage riders, just give yourself permission, like maybe when nobody's at the barn looking at you, to get up at a two point, like you saw me doing there, don't worry about being out of your perfect position. Don't worry about the horse's nose being a little bit forward. Loosen these back muscles, loosen the spinal joints so that the rest of his movement can get better. So I always tell people, learn to love the canter. Um, it'll really serve you all very well. And this horse is a perfect example of a horse that needs to canter, not for like 20 minutes a day, but uh, little increments. So. Thanks for tuning in and canter on.